Welcome everybody to Mindset Monday. I hope you had a, an exciting weekend. Um, I had, so I, I hope everyone did too. And before we start, if you do me a, a big favor, everybody, if you can either in the chat, if you can put a why or a no to the following question or a thumbs up if you do this, um, how many of you like giving gifts to your clients after a closing? Okay, great, perfect. Awesome, awesome. I love the feedback. I'm one of them. You're one of them. Excellent. Beautiful. So that's, I'm glad you you do this because this is a very, very important part of the transaction. And do you know the reason why we do this? Why would it be a good idea to always give a gift to a, to a client after a transaction? I would right. say to, to encourage them to give you uh, referrals and to have uh, repeat business. It also leaves them a lasting positive impression of the transaction. So it helps in that way too. Excellent. Good comment. I see appreciation uh, in the chat as well. So that's, that's excellent, getting referrals. Building relationships, right? That's where that's the type of business we're in, giving a relationship. So thank you so much for the feedback. And, and that is great if you're doing that. If you're not, this is something, I mean, that's why I wanted to you guys to see it in the chat. Everybody's doing this. You know, a lot of agents is very common between agents to do this. And for the very same reasons that, that some of you are expressing with us, uh, joint uh, um, appreciation, a thank you, uh, building referrals. So the topic today is has to do with that, using real estate gifts to increase referrals. Real estate closing gifts shows your appreciation, like some of you said, for, for the client and help build your relationship for later. So that's why this is very important. The more lasting power the gift has, the more likely a referral can, can come from that customer. It's the best way to cap off a successful relationship, I would say. Some people do like a home warranty, it's, it's a typical gift. I've never done one, but who knows really when they, was that going to get used? So there are better ways to show your appreciation. So I'm going to talk about a few ideas about the type of gifts that you can give, what to do, what not to do. So the first thing that we'll mention, it, it will be to don't make the gift about you, right? Something with your company logo or on it, it's, it's not such a great idea if you think about it. A lot of us think to say, okay, how, what kind of gifts I can give? And I want my company logo. I want my personal branding on, on the gift. So that's not always a good idea. You want the client to remember you. But how much time would, will there be before they take something that's branded, an item that's branded down, right? Eventually they'll get rid of that. So no one wants something branded in the middle of their house. So make the gift, instead of doing it about you, make it about them right? It's the only way you can have some lasting power. So don't give them anything with your name or initials. Uh, if it's a, it's a thoughtful gift, think about it. If it's a thoughtful gift, they'll remember you for it. Give them the gift in person. How about that? Sending it in the mail or dropping it off, just is not, it's not the same as delivering it in person, right? In person, it's more sincere. It's, it's personal, right? It, 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 a lot goes into it. This is where you can ask for referrals and reviews, right? Because now you're getting into a conversation with them. It is one of the best time to ask. You're giving the gift and asking for referrals. Mailing the gift takes away that opportunity that you have. Plus, although it's a building a relationship, just sending them the gift, but when you do it in person, again, that relationship gets a lot stronger. You, may, you have an opportunity to create a, a lasting bond. So make it personal. Make it personal to them. So like I said, it's not, it's not about you. Since you work with them for a few months, you should have a good gasp of what, who they are and what they like. The gift can be relevant to the taste and, and what you learned about them. Then it will mean something to them, right? Uh, if you make it a little bit more personal for them. Adding this personal touch also shows you you spend a good amount of time and effort to make that selection making your client feel that much more special, appreciated, listen to throughout the entire process. So this gives you an opportunity when you're getting to know somebody, 
you know, to listen to what they're saying, see what they like, what they don't like, what their concerns are. So you're getting to know them a little bit more. So when you put that gift together, guess what? That gift is going to speak for itself. And I would also add, keep it as local as possible. So getting them something related to local business, it's a great way to associate yourself even more with your area and give them something that's unique to the area that they're moving into. People, you should tend to be proud of where they live or, or, or are moving to. So something that represents that region is a great idea. So make it creative, have fun with it, make, make sure it connects to their area. And if you're getting something, and this is another opportunity for you to connect with whoever vendor you're getting it from and your client now. So you're making a good relationship there too. So here's some ideas that work if you sold their home or helped them find a new home. Have you heard of the, I'm sure you have, the voice command assistant, right? You have Amazon, Echo and Google uh, Home. They're incredibly popular right now. So they can control a lot of different parts of someone's house. So it's a, it, it fits naturally. It's new technology and it will get noticed whenever it gets used. So every time they use it, what do you think they're gonna remember? They're gonna remember the person that gave it to them, right? So this is something good to, uh, to think about. How about food services? Now, there are a lot of companies uh, these days that deliver ingredients or ready to cook meals uh, or food to people's door, right? Blue Apron is one of them. Uh, there's a lot of them. But you can get your clients a week's worth of meal or so. I mean, think about it. They're moving. They're, they're, they're dealing with, with a lot of things at the same time. So maybe this would be a good idea as well. So it's a perfect thing to give your clients to break into their new home with. How about personal household items? Stuff like uh, engraved knives, picture frames, uh, blankets or pillows. There are great items to give. Personalize them with their initials or names. About wine glasses or mugs. That's another idea that's very popular nowadays. All this stuff will get a lot of use, right? Painting or, or picture of, of the new home. So a painting of the new house is, is unique, right? How many of you give a painting of a new house to a client, right? Uh, I haven't seen many, but a painting of a new house is unique and could mean a lot of, to those new owners. It could be a lot cheaper than you thought as well. There are different sites, but there's one that, uh, that I've looked into it before. It's called instapainting.com. And it's a place where you can get a picture turned into a painting for about $50. So it's really, really inexpensive. Just give them a frame, uh, a picture frame of the new house. It's just a good idea as well. Either way, it's something that they should put on a wall and, and remember you by. Again, all these items that I'm, that I'm mentioning, there's stuff that, again, they don't have your logo or your branding. It's about them. You're making it memorable for them. About plants or outdoor decorations. Now think about this one. This immediately helps helps uh, uh, give uh, some some spark to the walkway or, or the yard. This type of gift will always be appreciated and used. I mean, who doesn't want to their front of the house look pretty and nice? So, so this is something that it can definitely be be used. Art or photo albums. That's another thought. Get them anything artistic for the home that you think that they can meet their taste. So this requires a little bit of homework on your side and that uh, building relationship with them to see what they like, but art or photo albums always work as well. Um, housewarming items. Like, um, so this is, this is low on the list because it's obvious, but when people move, they may need new kitchenware and things of that nature, right? Like a first time home buyer, uh, they're moving into something depending on the size of the house, they might need some stuff. So you can look around. Um, I had a client buying into a, a property, a brand new home, and she, it was bigger than what they were, they were accustomed to living in. They went from an apartment to a, a single family home, from a two bedroom to like a four bedroom home. So the first thing the lady said to me was like, how am I going to clean this house? And, and in between conversations, she mentioned that she wanted an, an eye robot. So that was my gift to her. So now every time they see that robot going around the house, they're going to remember, hey, Dailan gave it to me. <laughs> So an iRobot or, or any household item that they might need is always, is always good. 
a gift card, uh, gift card to their favorite local places. Could be also uh, another idea. Now this gesture isn't as thoughtful as some of the other suggestions, but it's a very good idea, specific, uh, especially if you know their favorite places, where they like to go, and you know you can make this a gift as well. But when you're giving gifts, there's some mistakes that we need to avoid. So what are those mistakes? Well, making it about you and your firm and business. Those are the number one mistake we want to avoid. It's not about, not about me, it's not about my company, it's not about well, my branding, it's about them and that relationship. So make it about them. That doesn't involve your brand at all. Like when, when you think about all the gifts that I mentioned, it does not involve your brand, right? It, it involves them, their liking, the attention that you pay to them. It can be, it can be a, um, a, your intention rather, should still be that your client remembers you when he or she sees the gift that they remember you and, and, and the home selling experience that they have with you. It can be, it can be branding uh, with any logos either. That will ultimately ruin the personal touch you're going for. You wanna go from the business aspect to a relation aspect, like a more personal relationship with a person. Also, another mistake to avoid will be giving the gift at the wrong time. So right after signing uh, the papers, it's not the best time to give the gift. They sign the paper and then here, here's your gift. <laughs> so clients will appreciate your gift more if you wait a little bit, just a little bit. If they just sold their house, their mind, think about it, their mind is moving and they're, they're already thinking the truck and what am I gonna do and the boxes and packing. So you want to give it to them during a time where they're more likely to vividly remember you. When you perhaps jump into a conversation with them and, 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 uh, and remember uh, some of the experience that you guys have, when they're more calm, perhaps is the best time to give it to them. And the number one mistake is not giving a gift at all. So you want to avoid that. So giving a gift and doing it the right way is a huge opportunity to keep the door open for referrals and future business from your client. By no means it, it, it's a necessary to give a gift at the end of the business, but it's also never required to go the extra mile as a realtor ever. So this is an act that builds your relationship with your client and it should happen with every transaction that you do. So those are my thoughts on, on what to do, what not to do and why you should give um, gifts to, to your client and build that relationship with them. Once again, we're in the business, we're in the business of building relationships rather than just focus on transactions and the, the check that we'll get at the end. Now, there's a lot of stuff that, um, let me see, I think Jane is saying something, says, I have one client whose criteria for a home was a large yard for pants. I found them at home with a 12,000 square feet lot and first gave to her a, a mango tree and then took her to a great nursery where she got to buy enough <laughs> tropical fruit trees and plants to fill <laughs> to fill my SUV. Also like gifting, okay, cool. That's awesome, that's awesome, Jane. Thank you for sharing that. Yeah, so I'm pretty sure at one point we've always thought about that, something unique that fits the client perfectly, like Jane's example here for that. All right, so there's all, all other forms, like sometimes it, it be beyond the gift idea, there's other things that you can do. For example, what to say, when to say, how to say it, right? Sometimes we struggle on, on this point. Well, there are systems out there and we happen to have one that we just started building that relationship with them. And it's called Grass uh, Happy Grasshopper, which they already do that for you. They have the content, they have what to say, when to say it, how to say it, and how to deliver it. And the way they do it is brilliant because it, it, it continues building on that relationship. So they do it through text messages, they do it through email, and they do it to um, voice uh, voice drop, a voicemail drop rather. So these are a little things that you can add to it that perhaps it will help your branding. And guess what? It's coming from you, right? And you're the one building that relationship. Now you're putting an autopilot to continue moving forward and building that relationship. So um, I encourage you to look into that, which is acquire, um, that company to help us with some of the services and to help you as well. I put it to use and so far I'm, I'm liking it and, and I just started sending it out. 
and and so far i like it so i really really encourage you to give it a try if you want to know more about it feel free to give me a call or call steve or call armando and and we'll walk you through it it's super simple and it's really fun to do and it connects to your side it connects to your other crms and you know it's very it's very uh, it's really interesting so and this is for our broker nation agents as an added feature that we're helping our agents to build that relationship build your soi work on your sphere um, and so you can continue getting more referral and more business so with that said that is how that is i was gonna say happy uh, grasshopper that is <laughs> mindset monday guys uh steve what do we got Yes, great, Daylon. Uh, happy, and I dropped the link for the Happy Grasshopper um, offered uh, ex explicitly for Broker Nation agents. You guys can check that out. If you're not a Broker Nation agent, be sure to check us out at joinbrokernation.net if you're interested in seeing what we do, how we do it, and how you could maybe be a part of the team and in what we do. We have two locations in North Miami and Doral. That's joinbrokernation.net. And um, be sure to check out www.brokernation.events. As always, that's where I always post the latest and greatest, what we're doing with our events, uh, our internal meetings, our external trainings, our internal trainings, everything is always posted there. That's brokernation.events. It's .events, Daylon, instead of .com or .net or anything like that. It's the end there, brokernation.events. And- oh, um, Good question. Can, they can watch the same videos on YouTube, right? Yes, if you guys uh, go to YouTube and just type in Broker Nation at the top, we pop right up every time and you will see our playlist of all the Mindset Mondays and Real Estate Fridays there. We're coming up on, Daylon, a hundred episodes combined that you've been doing. So uh, we started this uh, in the beginning of COVID, a year now it's been. We'll have to have a big party for our 100th episode. Uh, oh. And uh, we started a playlist I posted all of it publicly. I don't know how long it's gonna be public, honestly. We're probably gonna make it private pretty soon because there's a lot of very valuable information on there that we're gonna be spinning out into other content pieces and, and sound bites and skinning that all up. And as a matter of fact, it would be great, Daylon, if we could take all of that information, there's so much great information there and put that like into a book or something um, in one resource that somebody could download and have at their fingertips. Yeah, so if you go to dailanruido.com, you're going to be able to see a book. It's a guide for, for real estate agents. If you look at Ray's screen, you're going to see it. The ultimate guide to becoming a top producing agent. Now, everything that, that we, we talk about, a lot of the trainings that we do, especially on the SOI, and especially if you're a brand new agent, go check out that book. Um, it's free. You're going to get the uh, ebook version of it if you go to the site, dailanruido.com. Or feel free to swim by the office, see me, and I'll be more than happy to give you a book so you can read it. It's an awesome guy. Um, most everything that's in there has been tested, proven. I use it every single day. A lot of agents that are that are that are top producers today, especially in this market, they're using a lot of that um, information that's in there. Uh, so I highly encourage you, if, you know, just go read it and feel free to give me a feedback. I would love to hear feedback. For those of you who've already read that that book, so dailanruido.com, go check it out. Yeah, and that is called the ultimate guide to becoming a top producing agent. Really valuable stuff, and that is really a distillation, right, Daylon, of everything you've learned and uh, what's worked for you and uh, the people around you, your systems and your tips and everything, all in one resource, right? Great resource, right there. And it's absolutely. absolutely great. And and that book is being updated as we speak because there's some some area in there that we're adding vendors that that they're they're highly motivated they want to help our agents as well so that list will be provided in that book as well for you guys to to use them and you just tell them you're with broker nation and they'll take care of you hands down best service ever so check them out or again feel free to reach out to us and we'll send you a um a copy of the hardcover book and also a list of all the vendors that we use that perhaps it will be a very good use to you, all right? Also that the, the YouTube uh, link that we're, where we have all these episodes, if you don't have any, any agents outside of the company, like they're now with Broken Nation Real Estate and perhaps they miss any of the trainings or maybe it was good to you and you wanna share it with a buddy or a friend, send them the link. I mean, just look us up on, on 
on YouTube. All you have to do is just look it up and on YouTube, um, subscribe so you can get the latest information. There will be a lot more coming out soon on, on other topics, other trainings that because of time, we cannot do them all on Zoom, but we're gonna be releasing them on, on YouTube as well. So stay engaged with us on different type of platforms and videos so that way you can get the latest information or training or topic that perhaps it can help you. We're gonna be doing interviews with other vendors and, and attorneys and companies that they provide a service, it's an add-on and how you can build your, your team around you that's gonna help you and represent you as a business owner, right? As a realtor. So you wanna make sure you get this information. You wanna make sure you do follow on a lot of their advice and make the relationship with them. The fact that we're interviewing, it's not for me, it's not for the company, it's for you. We want you to build that relationship and, and have them represent you and send you business as well. So again, we're in the business relationship. Uh, we're in the business of building relationships. So take take a, an opportunity and, and do that. This is the time for that. So, all right guys, so that's it. That's Mindset Monday. Thank you so much for, for joining us. Have an awesome day. Have a beautiful rest of the week and I'll see you on Real Estate Friday. Take care, everybody. Hi, everyone. I ask everyone to unmute and wave to the camera. Uh, this will be recorded and uh, available on YouTube. Check us out on YouTube or hit us up for the direct recording. I'll send it directly to you. Steve at BrokerNation.net or Daylon at BrokerNation.net. Thanks, everyone. Have a great Bye, week. everybody. Take care. Have a great Thank day, everyone. Bye. Bye. Thanks, Steve. Bye, everybody. Bye. 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 Bye.